Jenna from Couple Travelers, and today we're gonna take you through three of the luxury level rooms at Sandals Grenada. First up, we're gonna be starting with the room Andy and I are currently staying in, which is the PR room category, the South Seas Premium Room with Outdoor Tranquility Soaking Tub. Did wanna preface this by saying we are on day four or five of the trip at this point. When we arrived, it was a little bit late in the day, and then we ended up having to change rooms because our AC wasn't working. So then it was dark. We didn't get to film on the first day. So keep in mind, you're gonna just see a bunch of our stuff in all the rooms. Okay, so over there we can hear the music. That is the main activity pool. There is Dino's Pizzeria right there. And then it's just a very quick walk up this path to come over to the premium rooms. We actually were initially on this balcony over there, but like I said, the AC wasn't working. So then we, they moved us downstairs over to this room right here, which is a walkout room. As you come up, you'll see you have a little table if you wanna have any meals or snacks out here. You have a drying rack for your bathing suits, one lounger, and then of course the outdoor tranquility soaking tub, which we have yet to use, but they're very popular at Sandals. And for reference, this is room 8104. Let's take a look. Pretty typical room. If you've seen any of our other sandals videos before, it looks very similar to our Barbados style room, which was also luxury level. So we have um, nightstands on either side. Excuse the mess of cords. One thing we had trouble with, this room was a little better than the first one we were in, but a lot of the plugs are whatever that is called. So we were able to get a power strip that had US cords in it, which was helpful because we have a lot of stuff to charge. But typically there are some US plugs in this room and a couple of USB plugs. So if you really are just coming and charging your phone, you'll be fine. But for us, we needed more, but they were thankfully able to provide the, the extra outlets for us, which was great. King size bed, as in all sandals resorts. Again, excuse the mess, but TV over here. And then a kind of catch all space, as I like to call it. The middle section does open and there's nothing in there. So you can use that for storage. Nice chair, another dresser. And then this is the beverage station. So coffee pot, teapot, wine, and underneath is our fridge. So since this is luxury level, you can get water, beer and wine, sodas and juices restocked daily. Once you're in club and butler level, you can have liquor in your room as well to make mixed drinks. And if you wanna know more about the difference between luxury, club, and butler, we do have a um, Barbados room tour where the second half of that video goes into detail about what to expect at each level, so you can check that video out. Straight ahead, hello. Um, I actually loved this. This wasn't in the room upstairs, but it's in this one. It's just a great, like get ready space. So I have all my hair and makeup stuff here. And so this did have some US plugs. People ask if a hair dryer is provided. It was, and it had these plugs, which was helpful. Right next door, we have the closet, which always has like extra blankets and pillows. They also had um, an umbrella, which you can take out when it is raining. Lots of hangers, which was helpful. I hung up like all my dresses and then there is a safe. Directly across is the bathroom, and I did like our bathroom a lot. Nice, well, ginormous sink. They always kept the towels nice and stocked, and sorry that the shower's wet. I did shower like 30 minutes ago, but this one it was very nice. So you have like a little bench, and then we had this shower head, which actually gave very nice um, pressure. And then one of the things that I always love about sandals is they then have the bathroom, like the actual toilet in a separate area, which does um, close so that someone using the bathroom doesn't take up the entirety of the bathroom. But that is the South Seas premium room with outdoor tranquility soaking tub. Say that three times fast. I am gonna head over and show you we are traveling with two other couples. I'm gonna go over and show their room up next. 
but I did want to mention to stay tuned to the end of the video. We are actually going to be talking about um, a couple of negative things we experienced with our rooms, which are again, luxury level, which is the bottom level of rooms at Sandals. So Andy and I will get into that in a little bit after we show you the next two rooms. So next up on our tour of the three luxury level rooms, we have the WFJS room category, which is the South Seas Waterfall River Pool Junior Suite with Balcony Tranquility Soaking Tub. I actually had to read that off of a piece of paper because it is way too long to memorize. So right when you first walk in, the first thing that you see is this gorgeous bathroom. And my, this is my parents' room, by the way, and they are so clean. <laughs> It looks like housekeeping was just here, but this is their shower, which is very nice. And then basically the same room setup that you just saw in our room, similar sink and everything, and their toilet is to the right as well. And just like in our room, their closet is directly across from the bathroom. So exact same closet with the safe and the iron and the umbrellas and blankets and pillows and hangers and all that jazz. Then they have the same coffee and tea set up as us um, and their fridge is underneath there as well. So again, very similar setup to our room. Theirs just is, seems maybe a little bit bigger. So they have same king size bed, two nightstands. Their lamps seem to have USBs. And then they have the other UK plugs as well over here. They then have their dresser on this side. Very nice. Hi, Andy. So then this is their TV and their kind of catch-all station with storage. And they have two of the chairs that we have in our room, but ours had an ottoman. Interesting, but the best part about this room is by far the view. So they have one lounger, just like we do. They have the drying rack, the same patio set as us. And of course, the balcony tranquility soaking tub. Then here is their lovely view. So this is the South Seas swim up rooms right below. And those aren't private pools. So technically like anybody at the resort can come in these pools, but we rarely see anybody actually swimming in them, which is interesting. You can see one of the nice rendezvous right here. Our room that we were just in is like right over here very good location so our room that we were in and this room is obviously in the back part of the resort near the main pool which is right here this is that giant main pool there's the swim up bar behind these trees we really love this location and then the third room which you're about to see after this is beachfront in the pink gin beach area absolutely Stunning view, love the waterfalls. This is definitely a nice one. Okay, this is the Pink Gin Grand Lux room, the LO room category. So this is where you walk in. First thing here, nice big closet. So luggage rack, blanket, pillows, safe and drawers, storage, etc. And all the rooms seem to have um, massive umbrellas which we definitely needed one night when it was raining then next you have the bathroom i actually really like their bathroom so trash can you got your hair dryer extra towels nice big sink makeup mirror and the extra magnification mirrors up here this is the shower which has a nice seat over here pretty decent bathroom and then you have a separate room for doing what you need to do in there so over here is your coffee seat, coffee and tea station, TV, coffee, nice big bed. So you got a little table over here. And last but not least, the balcony, two tables, two chairs, a drying rack for bathing suits. And then they have this nice partial ocean view. So those were the three luxury level rooms that my family stayed at while we were here at Sandals Grenada. Now we are about to get into some thoughts about these luxury rooms, but before we do, I did want to mention I am a Sandals travel agent and I would love to help you plan a trip to come to Sandals Grenada or any of the other Sandals property 
If you don't know, it is completely free to book through a travel agent. You pay the same price that you would pay online when booking through an agent, but then you get somebody who has the knowledge and experience of booking sandals to help you out. So if you're interested in more information, my email address is in the video description below. So for a trip like this, Luxury level rooms are perfect because we really need a place to stay. We basically leave the room in the morning, are out all day, come back to shower and change before dinner, and then just need basically a place to sleep. But this was the first time we actually felt like there was a quote unquote class system to the rooms. We felt a difference not having butler service. So for example, if you do not have a butler, you either have to just to risk not getting chairs by the main pool or you have to get up very early on your vacation around 6 a.m. to reserve them. If you think about how you want to spend your vacation, there are some people who are probably going on vacation to sleep in a little bit, right? So I guess in our minds, you shouldn't, you should be able to do both. Right For the price that you pay for sandals, if you want to sleep in and you also want to have a chair by the pool for when you do wake up and head down to the pool, you should be able to have both. You shouldn't need a butler to get something as simple as a pool chair. Yeah, and, and if you're beach people, I don't think you have to worry at Sandals Grenada. There was, there was spots. Yeah. And if you don't mind the quiet pool, which is right. closer to the beach, I... Typically saw chairs later in the in the morning and still available. This is really the the main activity pool, which was our pool preference, which has the swim up bar and has the you know activities happening during yeah. the day. And and I think it's important to point out that out of the four sandals resorts that we've been to, this pool is probably the smallest when it comes to the ratio of pool chairs to guests at the resort. It's just, it's not a large pool compared to an Antigua or a Royal Barbados or a Curacao where we've been right. before, right? Well, I actually think it may be less chairs at Curacao, but we just went when it was low occupancy. Right. So we're so, here supposedly yeah. when the resort is f sold out. Looking the, the whole week, there hasn't really been any pool chairs available by the time people get there in the morning or like by the time the bar opens at 10. And so like my dad is an early riser. So he w went out every day. So basically the rule is butlers have claim until 6 a.m. And then at 6 a.m., at least for this resort, there was like pop-up messages on the app at 6 a.m. Anybody can reserve a chair. So my dad went out, but for the first four days when everybody in my family was here, the six of us shared two chairs and we basically just used it to like hold our stuff. Yeah. And then for the last few days when it's just been my parents and then us, my dad went out and I was able to get four chairs. But again, he's, he's going out around 6 a.m. to secure those for us. Yeah. So it's, it's just something to keep in mind. Like you shouldn't, you know, I guess frankly need a butler to get some of those luxuries that are included that should be included in what is called a luxury level room. Yeah, it was the first time we felt you know? like, oh man, like we really needed butler here. We're not saying this to deter you from coming. We're we're just not telling at all. you what happened on our trip. Yeah. But um the other things we just kind of wanted to get into was about the room itself in terms of we felt when we did run into problems that there was just a lag in getting a lot of them resolved. So little things. My in my brother's room, his fridge did not work and he told someone and it was never fixed and then the day before he left his lamp no longer worked so like whoever checked into that room next is checking into a room with a broken fridge and a broken lamp we're, we're assuming so assuming so that doesn't look good and also if someone calls to say their fridge is broken like it should be fixed that day or some sort of solution you should be offering to bring them ice right something um especially like where one of the perks that you get and you get for staying at the resort is there's alcohol in your room, right? Right. Like so, so, so like that I mean, should. You're not going to drink warm white wine. You should be able to keep that cold. Yeah. Right. Your bottles of water, your beer, whatever um, you have in your fridge. My parents' room, which was the the second room that you saw, which was the, in my opinion, the nicest of the three rooms. Yeah. Their only issue was their coffee pot didn't work, but they called and the next day they had a new coffee pot that did work. Our room, which um, this is the cheapest room at the resort. Um, when we first arrived, our air conditioner didn't work. 
and they actually ended up switching our room and then we saw them working on the AC that day. Yeah. So I think that issue is separate from like yeah. the promptness because it's when we called, maintenance was there very quickly. Right. And after maintenance de- determined that would it be easier to just move us to a different room, housekeeping came and handled that transition very quickly. Yeah, they helped us like move our bags into the new room. Yeah. But then like the next day, I think they forgot to communicate to housekeeping that somebody was in this room now and we weren't in our old room. So like we didn't have housekeeping the next day, but then we just called and say, hey, we didn't get housekeeping today. They sent someone right away and then the it's been we've had it every day it's been fine like like this morning i came back to the room by like and by 10 o'clock it was done yeah but then some days we come back at 3 30 and it's not so it's just like the timing um is a little inconsistent but that that was like our our main thing was like i felt so bad when my brother called and it's like two days earlier and said my fridge is broken and and just and it never was taken care of so it just that it seems like these luxury level rooms may need a little TLC right now and, and doing some checks, you know, if, if they are sold. Like when we looked at our dates right before we traveled, it said no rooms available. So like there are at a very high capacity, but just maybe taking that little extra time to go through the room. Do all the lamps turn on? Is the fridge open? Is the fridge stocked? Um, th- that kind of thing. Yeah. And again, not to deter anybody from staying luxury level. We stay at a lot because Honestly, we don't like spending time in the room. We like being out in the resort, but did just want to let you know these things so you can decide what you need and what is best for your vacation. Yeah. Sandals Grenada overall is a beautiful property. It's one of the older ones. Transparently, I think uh, some of the things that we're talking about with the rooms are coming with age and you could kind of see the aging in other parts of the property as well. But if you look past those little details, the resort is still beautiful. You're here in the Caribbean, like the weather is amazing. Mm -hmm. Like you're going to have a good time. Yeah. And I think if, if it was just us here and we only had our like one or two room issues it would be nothing but it was because we were traveling in a group that we heard about the other little things that we were like like maybe it seems like a bigger deal yeah or that more things are happening but it's just it's it's happening to six people still a great room lovely resort yeah just wanted to be transparent about what we experienced so again you can decide if luxury is right for you if you want to go a little bit higher to a club level or if you can't afford butler i think grenade is the one to do butler because they're there does seem to be, you know, you want those coveted good pool spots. And since we didn't have um, another place in our Sandals Grenada videos to give a uh, staff shout out, um, wanted to do that in this video. So just a few of the Sandals team members who we interacted with here that made our experience a little, I guess, more special. Mm -hmm. So shout outs to Caleb, Antoinette, Andre, Rachel, Nadia, Nikel, Aliyah, and Raquel. From various times Mm -hmm. um, this past week, they were all great. But um, thank you guys. And if you come across anybody during your sandals vacation where staff went above and beyond, we recommend that we always keep a list on our phone and whenever we feel like we really had exceptional service or a great interaction, we write their name down. Yeah. You can uh, submit names on the Sandals app. You can reach out to Sandals and let them know these the names of the of those who made your trip extra special. Sandals does always love to hear that. That is going to be it in this uh, room overview video. Rooms overview. Rooms overview video. (laughs) Thank you for watching. Be sure to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and follow us on social media at A Couple Travelers. And until next time, keep traveling.